A lot of talk that Thibaut Courtois is not happy at Chelsea. Some suggesting he's going AWOL. Others suggesting he's trying to force his way out of Stamford Bridge. New season starts Friday. Transfer windows closes 24 hours before. Is he still going to be at Chelsea? Uh, as we sit right now, I, I think not. And I'm basing that on what you heard from Sarri after the Community Shield game where he said, you know, there's good news and there's bad news or something. I'm paraphrasing at this point. But seemed to suggest that one of the players linked with a move away is staying and one is going. I'm thinking that's Hazard and Courtois. I think the more likely to go is, is Thibaut Courtois. Um, so, no, I, I, I don't think he's... he's He's in goal for Chelsea opening day of the season. If you were a Chelsea fan, would you begrudge him a, a move back to Madrid where he was with Atleti and his, <laughs> his kids still are? No, not really. And, and the thing is, Courtois, you've seen this for Chelsea and you've seen it more consistently for Belgium, is an incredibly talented goalkeeper. I just feel that over the last couple of seasons, A, he's been inconsistent, but more to the point, it seems every summer we're having this same discussion. And at some point, Chelsea fans are just going to say, listen, you're good, you're one of the best of the world, but if you don't want to be here, then we don't want, to, we don't want you here either. They want players to show the same type of loyalty to their club that they do. Now, as an ex-player, I know that that does not happen. Players don't have that same affinity that fans do. But as a fan, you can't help but not just be tired, but be desperately infuriated when every summer you have in the same conversation or the player is a little bit non-committal to his future. At no point is he coming out and saying, I'm going to be here, regardless of what his agent is saying or behind closed doors or, or to the press. At no point you got that feeling from Thibaut Courtois. So as, if you're a Chelsea fan, you're thinking, you know what, we don't need you. Okay, if he does go... They need a replacement. Yeah. So I've done a few of the ICC games for Chelsea. They've got a young kid who I don't think is ready yet, but could be a star, called Marcin Bulka. He's an 18-year-old mm -hmm. Pole. Okay, so he's fourth choice right now. Rob Green, they signed for the homegrown coefficient. And Willie Caballero, who could be anything as well. We've heard Schmeichel linked with them. We've heard Butland linked with them. You've come up with one, if Courtois goes to Madrid, for a swap Street deal. swap. With... Kelo Navas. Makes sense. No, let me tell you, Kelo Navas, in my opinion, is the most underappreciated goalkeeper in European football, if not world football. Kelo Navas came in to Real Madrid four years ago, sat on the bench for 12 months behind Ike Casillas, and even then, I knew he was better than Ike Casillas, but it was Ike Casillas, one of the all-time greats in, in, in the position, one of the all-time greats. For, for Real Madrid. Bide at his time, Casillas moves, he's won three Champions Leagues back to back and yet never has been appreciated in that team. For me, Navas, top five, top six in the world, no question. And that's including Coutoy in there. If you get a straight swap, never mind all the other names that are bandied about, if you, well, maybe not a straight, well, Straight swap depending on how you do your business, right? I understand Courtois has got a year left, so that devalues him in terms of the transfer market. But if you get Kilo Navas, I think that puts you in an outstanding position. It doesn't change you an awful lot from what you've got now. Because for as good as Courtois is or can be, I think he's also been a little bit inconsistent for Chelsea. You won't have that problem with Kilo Navas. This former Premier League goalkeeper doesn't think Courtois will be at Chelsea to begin the season, but he seems to have the perfect alternative to who could replace him.